to SharePoint Empower. We are Microsoft Solutions Partner and works with the latest cloud-based technologies such as Teams, Azure, SharePoint, and we have developed many programs. Inventory Management System is used to track and manage inventories, preventing human errors as well as miscalculations. Moving towards the product, it is certified by Microsoft for latest security and compliance practices to protect customer data. Now let me introduce high-level features of inventory management system starting from M365 Cloud Storage. All the data is stored in M365 Cloud Storage in your own tenant. Purchase orders can be created and managed easily, which helps you to keep track of purchases. Inventories can be managed location-wise to keep accurate location-based updates. Sales orders can also be logged and tracked in the system to ease up inventory management. Assemble inventories can be a useful feature as you can manage multiple inventories together. Transfer order helps you to keep records of transported inventories from one location to another. Multiple warehouses can be added and managed. Vendors as well as customers can be added to ease of purchase and sales orders. QR barcodes can be utilized for multiple purposes such as creating sales order, purchase order, etc. Bulk inventories can also be imported in the inventory management system. Reorder levels helps you to keep inventories in stock by highlighting inventories below reorder level. If you need any API integrations as well as customization, we can build it for you. Custom sections and fields can be generated with various field types. We have interactive dashboard as well as around 10 types of reports which can be filtered as well as exported. Our product is highly responsive as it can be utilized from laptops, tablets, mobiles, and we have some of the multinational languages available. Inventory management system can also be utilized and managed from Teams app itself. Dashboard. Here you will be able to see total SKU, total purchase value, total sales value, as well as total profit. Below that, here are the details about sales activity and purchase activity, like total orders, open orders, fulfilled and unfulfilled orders, paid and unpaid orders. This is the top selling items by margin and by quantity. Charts for profit loss margin and location wise inventories are available here. Sales by category, location, product type, and customer is available for insights. Balance report by customer as well as vendor. Further, here are the low stock inventories, and this is the recent activity about purchase orders and sales orders. Home page of inventories all the details of inventories of your organization will be visible here. Columns for product name, product type, category, etc. will be visible here. To edit the columns, click on edit columns. And from here, you can edit the columns and save it. Inventories can be imported by generating this CSV file and upload it here. To export the inventory, it is available in CSV or PDF format. Inventories can also be filtered out by SKU, product name, product type, category, and location. To add new inventory, click on new. This form is highly configurable. You can add new sections, new fields as per your preference. New image can be attached. Documents can be uploaded here. After adding the inventory, clicking on the inventory will help you to open the detail view of particular inventory. Product assembly is the process of combining multiple components into a finished product. It ensures efficient handling of bundled or manufactured goods. Location wise quantity takes top quantities at each specific site or warehouse by giving clear visibility of where items are stored. 
and reorder quantity will help you to keep inventory in stock by highlighting the inventory which is below or at reorder quantity in the low stock tab on dashboard and all the changes carried out in the particular inventory will be locked under product history. Purchase order will be visible along with the additional information of order status and payment status. Columns can be edited as discussed. New purchase order can be added by clicking on new. These forms are highly configurable. You can add new section as well as fields. You can scan out the inventories or you can even enter it out. Provide the vendor name here, location, shipping date, due date, and date. And, and also document can be uploaded here. After adding the purchase order, clicking on the order number will help you to open the details of that particular order. You can receive or return the order from here. See the transaction details here and add new transaction details in the new. Mark them fulfilled in here or unfulfilled from here. After that, click on save. Sales orders. You can add new sales orders by clicking on new. This form is highly configurable. You can add new section as well as new fields. Scanner is available in the sales order also. And you can even enter the inventory's name. In the customer name, location added, additional fields you have added, and documents can be attached to you. After adding the sales order, clicking on order number will help you to open the details. Sales order can be fulfilled or written from here. Transactions can be added here. Marking them fulfilled or unfulfilled will be available by clicking on this order status. Transfer orders. You can view all the existing transfer orders by clicking on the eye icon and to create a new transfer order, click on new. Here you can enter the SKU from location as well as to location. Here also documents can be attached. After adding the transfer order, you can view it in detail and even reward the transfer. Print your barcode. These labels can be utilized by printing out in a four sticker size sheet with 30, 40, or 40 sticker per sheet. If you are having the thermal printer, you can use custom, set appropriate width and height, and print it out. These labels can also be customized, so you can change the text here, you can turn on or off the QR or barcode if any of them are unnecessary. And after adding print QR barcode under the home page, you can update quantity by scanning the barcode, change the location wise quantity here. And if you are having your own barcode, you can even add it while adding the inventory in this field. This is the QR barcode part. Reports we have around 10 to 12 types of reports available. Starting from SQL details, all the reports can be filtered out and exported in a PDF or CSV format. To view the details of the report, you can click on I icon and click on download to export it. Here are the reorder level reports. You can view it in detail by clicking on the arrow and download it in PDF or CSV format. Here are the warehouse reports. And inventory summary reports when filter the report out by clicking on the filter icon by product type, category, or duration, and then export it. This is why when the reports are available, so you can view the details. Pending purchase orders are also available, pending sales order reports are available. Sales by customer reports. Sales by salesperson, balance summary reports, also vendor balance summary as well as customer balance summary reports are available. Return history reports are available. 
purchase return history as well as sales return history is available. And the last one is crypto valuation report. Configuration. Under configuration, you can manage various things like vendors, customers, to sections, and even fields. Starting from vendors, here you can add new vendor by clicking on new, filling out all this information, and you will add vendor product here. Under the customers, you can add new customers by clicking on new, and existing customers can also be edited. Size masters can be managed from here. Master currency can be edited. Default location along with the location can be managed from here. Fixing schemes, payment methods, unit of measure, prefix setup, sales representative, area partner, dispatch status, and vehicle types can be configured from masters. Under this specification, you can manage the categories, product type, length, as well as weight. Under the customize, you can add new sections by clicking on new. You can add new section under inventories form, purchase orders form, sales orders form, and transfer order form. After adding the section, you can add new custom field. By clicking on new, you can create new field, selecting the section in which you are going to add the field, providing the field name, field type, we have currently single line text, multi line text, number, date and time, choice and drop down available as field type. You can mark them required, not required, active, inactive as per your preference. You can also provide the display order of that particular field in the section and then clicking on save will create new field. Custom email. Whenever a purchase order or sales order is opened, marked fulfilled or marked unfulfilled, there will be an automated mail forwarded. And this mail is configurable, so you can customize this mail as per your preference. Also for transfer orders and non-transfer orders, pre-order inventory mails are also available. Further, under the general setting, you can change the company logo as per your preferred logo as well as the application name to your preferred name. Date time format can also be changed and font can also be adjusted from here. Company information can be entered here for knowledge purposes. We have some of the multinational languages available, so you can change the language of the system from here. Under the manage alerts, if you would like that uh, specific users should be kept as CC in the automated mails, you can enter those mails here. Every management system is directly supported in Microsoft Teams, mobile devices, laptops, tablets, as well as all model browsers. From Microsoft Teams, we can access all the features of inventory management system.